How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's video. Today we're at Loon Lake, trailhead of the Rubicon. So we got three rigs with us today. We got uh, my Jeep, which is three and a half inches of lift on 35s. We got a little Suzuki Samurai. So we're gonna see how it compares. And then we got the big five and a half inch metal cloak long arm on one tons and 40 inch tires. So we're gonna be comparing how each rig does over all the obstacles. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Of all the gatekeepers that I've gone through, I think my favorite has to be the Loon Lake entrance to the Rubicon. Tire size plays a huge role in how easy or hard these obstacles are. And while the Sammy with 31s had to work a lot harder, it wasn't impossible. Forties on the other hand make just about every obstacle on this trail look easy. Immediately after the gatekeeper is the famous granite bowl. This area is known for the steep drop offs and climbs as well as its sheer beauty. While this is a good area to cover some ground quickly, it's also a great time to stop and enjoy some of the views as well as take a few pictures. Oh, what's that leaking out? Gear oil? Oh no. Too much of that. I don't have to go around. I do. Make sure to stop at the ranger shack before hitting the trail and pick up a free spill kit from them. There is a good chance that you might have to use it on the trail.
your rail, bro. Yep. As long as you got the body up, okay. Slow. Slow. There you go. Back up a hair. Right there. Give it a tiny bump. Passenger will get a sexy flexi. Walker Hill is a really fun section. You can typically pick between two lines. One can be challenging, while the other can be easier. Kyle made a great attempt at this obstacle, but decided that it was better to back down and live the will another day. Yeah. Okay, so that was the Rubicon Trail. We made it all the way up to the top of Walker Hill. We wanted to go further, but as you can see, uh, the days are getting a lot shorter and we're just running out of daylight. Uh, the Samurai was having a little bit of mechanical issues, nothing too crazy, but we didn't want to get stuck on the trail at night and have to deal with that. We ran into another uh, YouTuber, uh, RC Jeeper. He, uh, him and his buddy made it all the way out to the Soup Bowl. They say they got some awesome video uh, of them on the Soup Bowl. So I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. And if you enjoyed watching the Samurai, uh, go ahead and check out Fortune Off Road. I'll leave a link to that channel in the description as well. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner.